<laughs> what is up everybody welcome back to the channel for a much needed update on my current household the dill family if that name isn't even ringing a bell don't worry i'm not offended it's been quite a while since i've updated you guys on what has been happening with this particular family just because i've been so ridiculously busy i just simply have not had time however there's been some huge transitions happening here in the household like for instance we no longer live in strangerville and i'll probably probably get into the dynamics here in just a second. I have no idea if this is going to be just like an update or we're going to do some gameplay. I'm just kind of going with the flow and also my boyfriend's going to be home in a little bit. So it's really just a matter of time to be honest. But I wanted to show you guys this cute little condominium complex that I created. So on the outside, um, it's very rugged, right? This particular, this particular building was built in the late 70s. And what I like about it is I feel like it fits the area like perfect. Uh, there's also parking on property, which is nice because then that means you don't have to like park on the streets. There's a little private park too as well. If you wanted to have your Sims come have a picnic, maybe they wanted to practice their gardening skills, or maybe you wanted to take advantage of the generous weather that occurs in Del Sol and swim in the Olympic sized pool. Now, because this is a rougher area of Del Sol Valley, unfortunately, um, the condominiums have experienced a little bit of vandalism, but I mean, the crime rates are relatively low. Like nobody's died yet. I think you're going to be fine. Um, if you're wondering about laundry, Unfortunately, each unit does not have a like washer dryer hookup just due to the age of the apartments, but or the condos. But we do have um, a complimentary washer and dryer here in the basement. <laughs> and sometimes you might, you know, find out that you've you've got some 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 creepy crawler company. I don't know, but I mean. It's cool. I like it. I really love this little like basement. It definitely kind of gives this this lot, this building, um, that feeling of it being older. You know what I'm saying? And then for the only available unit, it is this one, which is a two bedroom, two bath uh, condo. So it's upstairs, downstairs, which is, you know, pretty spacious, to be honest. But Donna really didn't have very many options when it came to like renting or buying. Like, obviously, we're pretty much broke. So this one was better than nothing, honestly. And so to keep costs down, which if I'm being honest with you, $2,500 a week is not cheap. Um, I had to, for the rest of the apartments, do the platform tool hack so that I wasn't actually paying in my, like my, you know, weekly bills, um, the price for the items within it, I guess. So basically everything that you put into your house, like it's calculated into the bills, like the formulation. And so if I had like these apartments that I wasn't even living in, uh, having all of this furniture, then I would be paying for their bills too, which doesn't really make sense. And I actually like blocking out the other units because then that way it feels like I'm really living in an apartment slash condo building. So I feel like it's a win-win situation. Um, I do actually have this lot. I don't know if I mentioned it already. Um, I do have this lot available on the Gallery Gen 2 606. And in the future, I do plan on making more of these and actually doing speed builds out of them. But Again, just for the simple fact that this was my first like test run creating like these faux, faux little apartments. Um, I kind of wanted to do it on my own just to see how it would turn out and if I even liked it, to be honest. And to be real with you guys, I'm really enjoying playing in these condos. So as for Miss Donna, oof, living in the big city, it's hard. They just moved in. They're still getting acquainted. Donna still hasn't looked into joining any type of like <laughs> management company when it comes to acting. She doesn't even know where to begin. Uh, and I'm sure we'll get to that eventually. But for right now, we're just trying to like focus on settling in and, you know, just kind of making a home out of this very, very, very foreign city because this is nothing like Strangerville. I mean, even a poor Jillian is having a hard time adjusting. In fact, <laughs> she um, is feeling quite angry from being sent into the hall. Being bothered in class is bad enough, but getting in trouble for it is infuriating. My guess the main issue here is Jill's being bullied because she kind of stands out like a sore thumb. I mean, it's from her clothes to her hair, just even the way she talks and acts. Like you could tell she is not from Del Sol Valley at all whatsoever. Hopefully, once she kind of gets into her teenagehood, that'll change a little bit. She'll she'll gain a little more confidence and 
really come into her own. Uh, but she will be becoming a teen in this update. I wanted you guys to be a part of that special experience because I think it's kind of, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's kind of nice. Also, um, if you did want to kind of get a little bit of back history on this household, I do have a playlist and it'll be in the description for you guys to check out. So that way you can kind of get acquainted and learn a little bit about these Sims because otherwise, like none of this is going to make any damn sense. So let's talk about what has happened since Strangerville. Well, um, Donna and her now ex-husband, Trip, obviously got divorced. Their relationship fell apart quicker than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And that was probably because he was too busy sandwiching um, her neighbor, to be honest. And then she decided, you know what? Uh, I'm going to be a little, I'm going to be a little spiteful. I'm going to get back at you and I'm going to, I'm going to hook up with your best friend. And that's exactly what happened. Donna quickly realized that that was just an immature way of handling things in the relationship and that, to be honest, she was just better off being alone so she did she decided to divorce him she ended up packing up the their belongings which wasn't really very much and she decided to move to del sol valley to try to like make something out of herself uh we did end up actually having oh my god what are we simstagramming <laughs> that is so sad i was gonna try to like take a picture of bella but unfortunately um poor poor jill here her camera skills they suck she's really bad at photography all right she's gonna work on some homework she doesn't have to though because because she's going to be aging in this episode, which speaking of, we need to get in here and we need to um, probably put together a cake. I could have sworn that I had done that already, actually, but maybe that was for um, I believe that was probably for when uh, Alice aged up. So just give me a second because I always have to like play and talk at the same time. And it's not as easy as it looks. So hold on a sec. I'm trying to see if I will like run into a cake. Right now we got like a meat pie. We've got some clam chowder. I don't see anything uh, cake wise. So maybe what I need to do is pay attention for a quick little second. And we can go into there's custom food. Oh, bake. There we go. All right. So let me see if I can find something for Jill here that she would like as a birthday cake. So I know I have a couple different options because I downloaded a bunch of custom content uh, like cakes and stuff. So there's like a blue confetti cake, but there was also like a rainbow cake and a whole bunch of other things. But just to keep it, you know, easy, we're going to do like a little strawberry cake because Jill loves strawberry. But as I was saying, um, yeah, so Trip and, and, and Donna, that is, you know, it's, it is just, it's a thing of the past. And, um, she did end up having two kids, two <laughs> kids with, uh, Trip because they wanted to build a little family together. So here we have Stephanie, whom looks so much like her dad. She's literally a freaking spitting image. And then we have a little Alice, which I like to call Donna 2.0. I don't know if Donna has, um, brown eyes or blue eyes. I can't really remember, but she seriously looks so much like her mom. So anyways, right now, Donna is feeling really sad because they just divorced not that long ago. And that was not, that was not something she wanted, to be honest with you, to be divorced, like, again or separated. She was really hoping um, that they would be able to make something out of this marriage you know what i'm saying especially having two kids and whatnot right now we are just going to focus on raising the girls the best that we can even though this apartment isn't like the nicest apartment in del sol it is a huge upgrade from that house like if you guys have been following the series you know how bad that house was at least we don't have like a million kajillion dust bunnies there isn't like clothes all over the floor and relatively speaking this is a positive move in the right direction for miss donnelly if you'd ask me all right so so oh, Jill, we're going to have her come over. She's going to add some birthday candles to the cake. Actually, you know what? Mm -mm -mm. We should probably have Donna do the do the deed because by the time that, uh, you know, Jill comes down here, my guess is that the cake would probably already be eaten. So let me just have Jill come over here and blow out the candles. What milestone did we complete? I feel like there was something. Did you guys see that? Jill should be making her way down the stairs right now. She's still a little bummed about school, but that's fine. I can't wait until she's a teenager, to be honest. It's been a long time of coming. I'm so excited. All right, Jill, blow out the candles. Let's see it. <laughs> oh, my God. She's so cute. All right. So she should be now turning into a 
teenager. Awesome. I'll be honest, I'm having kind of a hard time picking out Jill's aspiration just because she's in this really weird like transitional phase where I don't think she would go as far as wanting to be like popular. Um, but because she has been having such a tough time like adjusting to school and whatnot, I definitely don't think it would be totally out of the realm of possibilities. So for now, we're just going to make her a friend of the world. And then for an additional trait, um, I wish I could actually see what she's naturally good at to be able to like pick which one that I think suits her best. But for now, I'm sort of gravitating towards maybe like active, but we have a lot of like active traits. So maybe that one isn't the best choice to go with. Um, I'm thinking maybe loves to swim because she has been really enjoying swimming lately. I'll probably change these though because to be honest, they don't quite feel right. Let me see really fast uh, if I can in her skills, like what she's naturally good at. Oh, it just says Je Jill has no skills. Oh, okay. So I think <laughs> I need to update something because that ain't right. Like, what do you mean? Jill ain't got no skills. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. She doesn't because <gasps> that's right. Okay. I was like kind of having a moment there. <laughs> so she's actually good at singing um and she's good at dj mixing but that's literally it and she's also gregorious so interesting i mean she is outgoing so maybe maybe her becoming miss popular would be the most largest comeback of the century i'm not sure so jill's bed is up here uh we do have Stephanie downstairs whom also needs to age up. I don't know how y'all would feel about having like a double birthday right now But I kind of think we need to roll with the punches I'm not really sure like what else to tell you because not a lot has happened since the divorce with Trip. Um, other than the fact that obviously we've moved to Del Sol So like we probably need to make a little more progress before this is going to be like the most interesting current household that I've ever posted but to be honest with you right now it's just we're kind of in um we're kind of in limbo land and I don't know what outfit Jill has on right now but I am very very intrigued I mean she's got like socks and she's got like these tights and some sort of like workout shorts and this cable knit uh cable knit wait hold on I forgot wait did you think I forgot about your birthday? Do you mind if I come over? Wow. Okay. And also, like, he's been super, uh, I wouldn't say, like, super weird lately, but he's, I feel like he's been trying to get done it back. Trip, I do. Because he's been showing up, like, constantly and using the kids as, like, an excuse to, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. This household's in a really weird spot right now. But anyway, I want to have uh, Stephanie also go ahead and blow out the candle. I don't know if um, if you guys are aware of this, but surprisingly, when Jill met Alice, she like instantly took a liking to her. And then for some strange reason, um, Jill actually knows Nicolette. And I think that is just from the relationship that they had in the beginning, because in case you guys didn't know, Nicolette is actually, okay, Donna Lee's first daughter, right? Um, that she put up for adoption when, you know, back in the day. Well, actually, no, second daughter, because Jill was first. Sorry, <laughs> my bad. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just weird, weird times. Okay, uh, so I'm pretty sure little Miss here should have aged up. Um, for whatever reason, it's taking a little second. There we go. I'm just gonna go for something, like, random. We're gonna make her maybe a little social. I could definitely see her being, like, um, a, a, a social butterfly perhaps for now. And then I'm going to do a self-assured. I mean, she's a toddler. Like, oh no, she's a, she's a child now. I'm just kidding. Okay. I was like, that's kind of weird. <laughs> like how she about to be, how she about to be self-assured. Uh, we'll also make her toy obsessed because I mean, I think every kid is toy obsessed. And then perhaps we'll also make her, I don't know, uh, lactose intolerant for now. We're just kind of like randomizing it, but she looks so cute oh my goodness you can actually see kind of like how she looks and oh my god you guys like i don't know if you can see this but that is literally trip okay in like child female form it is insane i kind of want to pop in to create a sim really quick and kind of make over these two but maybe i'll just do that in like another video because i had need to not only make over um, Stephanie and Jillian, I need to make over Donna because if she's going to take on this whole like Hollywood vibe. She definitely needs to like play the part. You know what I'm saying? Um, so maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll help her get like this whole 
actress gig kickstarted. I just don't know exactly how to do that. So for work, um, do we find a job? Like, <laughs> I haven't played with the whole um, famous, uh, get famous aspect of The Sims 4 since probably the Let's Play that we did. So actors will need to join a talent agency. The spotlight calls, the cameras are focused, and you're ready for your close-up. It is up to you to breathe energy into the words of the script and really make the characters come alive. I don't know why I thought it was so much harder to become an actress. It's literally a matter of just selecting a damn agency. And we have two options to start. So the first one is the AI staff agency consider AI staffing our agents look forward to booking your unproductive time with work please enable notifications to stay informed on the latest opportunities hmm okay so the benefits are improved automated reminders maximize your time spent working and then for everyday extras talent agency it says our team has put faces into every wide angle crowd shot this town has ever filled we will find you work no matter how small the role. Benefits, more auditions for commercial and daytime TV gigs. Honestly, we need cash and we need it stat because again, $2,500 a week to live here. So we definitely need something that's going to pay the bills. So here we go. Joined Everyday Extras. Welcome to the crew, Donnelly. We specialize in getting talented service staff members into acting roles, big and large. Some of our talent even lands gigs with actual lines to speak. Don't let the pressure get to you, though. We can arrange a few shifts at Chez Llama when the need arises. I'm a little underwhelmed. The pickings are slim, but the payout actually looks very promising. So there's the Salty Suds commercial where the gig payout is 170 to 500 And then there is the preclinical pharmaceuticals where it is about the same payout, but a little more on the skimpy side. I think we're going to do salty suds. Now, it does require Donna to have a charisma level of two, which I'm assuming she has if she's already met the requirement. Oh, no, just joking. <laughs> of the commercial. So it looks like Donna is going to have to go into the bathroom and start really, really gabbing on her gums. The only weird thing is that uh, Trip, who she literally despises, is standing in her house right now. and She's not too excited about it. Now, Donna is very tired, but the audience um starts Wednesday at nine so she's got like a couple days to kind of brush up on her skills uh, I want to cheat her energy just a little bit and I also really want to get this baby bassinet out of the way just because I like I said um the baby making factory is closed like we have hung up our ovaries you know what I'm saying we're not we're not no there's no way in hell we're gonna we're gonna continue to um you know pump these out like <laughs> like biscuits it's just it's just not the bag anymore so I think what Donna needs to do is she definitely needs to practice uh, her speech a little bit. So we're going to practice acting. I think that will work on her charisma, but there is a large chance that it won't. Now, I don't know if we're going to actually have to have like Stephanie sleep with Donna for now. I didn't even think of that being a possibility. But to be fair, it's actually um not that bad of an idea so yeah acting and charisma two different things oh <gasps> and we just learned that acting is indeed donna's passion how cool so donna lee seems to be getting into character and likes this acting thing more and more should she gain the preference of likes acting yes 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 oh my gosh when the game and your like you know visions align it literally is the best feeling ever but uh practice speech is actually where we need to go so it was a happy accident you know it was a happy accident poor Stephanie she is so stinky and smelly I still was thinking maybe we should give them a makeover I really oh my god is it me or is Bella always in the toilet like constantly I just wish I could like get her out though because I have to use the bathroom <laughs> like really bad don't I no, I just need a shower because I smell like really, really gross. All right, so that's fine. We'll we'll scold Bella another day. We're going to take a shower. Um, poor Alice is starving, but we're just going to boost her hunger because, you know, unfortunately, I just I don't I can't be bothered. Um, Trip is really upset and angry, but he's just staring at at a oh, oh, my God. <laughs> 
help yourself why don't you that is like seriously the biggest call for attention does he she, does he really think that's gonna do something though i don't know i'm gonna have jillian go ahead and like grab something to eat i don't know what it is she's eating but donna made this the other day and it's actually kind of good and then after that she does need to work on her fun a little bit we have school in the morning she's already completed her homework like it's to the point where i don't even have to tell her to do it anymore so i kind of like that and what else what else what else oh we need to put the cake in the fridge bella is outside right now i'm actually gonna have her go and use the bathroom uh actually no i have to i have to be the one to tell her to go to the bathroom she can't just do it that sucks all right so what is going on with stephanie right now she took a shower she's feeling a hell of a lot better but like i said i'm gonna have her bunk with donna for now and then i'm gonna have to figure out like the bed situation i've only got 907 simoleons and yes 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 we still have jillian's piggy bank and it's at the very top of the shelf so that obviously her siblings don't get into it alice is sleeping she is doing the meme and donna is still killing it and trip is in a towel like mm, no thanks uh we're we going <gasps> you know what he needs to go home we need to send his little pale culito out the door. Let's go. Goodbye. I am so over it. That boy needs to tan where the sun doesn't shine because his butt was like whiter than Casper the ghost. And I hate when that happens. It happens to me all the time. But anyway, um, Don is actually almost at level two of the charisma skill, which if you ask me is very impressive. I have not seen this type of motivation come from Donna in probably forever. Um, so I'm going to have her wrap things up. She's going to go and use the bathroom because all of that excitement has her, you know, kind of needing to uh, release some pent up energy for sure. And what else should we do while the night is young? Actually, it's not. It's 12 a.m. Thinking maybe we should go do some damn laundry. So let's pick up some clothing piles and let's go and do the laundry. We're going to add that to the washing machine. Uh, and I think I'm probably going to end this update here so like i said not a lot has really transpired we're kind of in a transitional period right now which i'm totally cool with why isn't she able to i can't get into that one it's fine we'll just do the girls laundry and then we'll worry about that but um i'm really excited to see like in the future how this acting gig pans out if donna ever gets her ish together it looks like she's trying so i'm excited for that but also i'm really excited to see how jillian adjusts to life in Del Sol because again she's a small town girl you know living in the big city can be super duper overwhelming um and I think it's also going to be kind of fun too giving them like a makeover kind of just like reflecting at this brand new change so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time let's just wash this laundry really quick Donna is kind of getting hungry and we're gonna grab ourselves uh, a custom little drink maybe you know we're gonna celebrate um what are we gonna celebrate though well, I mean, getting the gig, right? So let's see if we could make a little mold wine. What's a what's a coquito? I don't know what that is. Actually, you know what? Mold mold wine. Nah. You know what? Donna, she's a beer girl through and through. Let's get a let's get a little, you know, <laughs> Sudweiser. How about that? And then we're probably gonna end up just going to bed. But anyways, um, that is my update on the Dill family. It's a lot, but it's also weird, and I like it, but I'm scared. <laughs> Damn, Donna, you like guzzled that down in like one swig <laughs> she is not playing but all jokes aside i'm super excited to follow this family on to their next adventure so far del sol seems to be the right decision i don't know if that will pan out to be true but we'll have to see um we didn't really have the money to be able to celebrate spooky day just because we're on a super duper tight budget so obviously it was a little awful anyways you guys i'm officially gonna go ahead and wrap up this update here please Please let me know in the comments uh, makeover wise how do you envision Donna changing up her look so she fits in with the socialites of Del Sol should we go blonde should we do a crazy hair color uh, what about haircut style let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts and ideas are and I'll try to implement them in the makeover video and of course shout you out for your help uh, but anyways you guys I'm gonna go ahead and like I said before I'm gonna wrap up this video here I hope you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do but don't forget forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys living on the far side of town